Well, hi everyone. This morning we are um, very happy to have three people uh, share with you uh, just a tribute to their mothers on this uh, Mother's Day Sunday. Uh, we're glad to be able to present this. A tribute, by the way, um, in the dictionary is defined as as an acknowledgement of um, of respect or an acknowledgement of thanks to someone. It's kind of like a, a compliment that is, is given to someone. And so I would say that on this day, probably mothers more than anyone else in the world are those who deserve that kind of thing. And so I'm glad this morning that there are three people, three members of our church who have agreed to, um, to share with you. Uh, they will be talking about their moms. It will be a tribute to their mom. Uh, but as you listen to it, I, I'm sure that you will be able to identify uh, with the sentiments that they express, and you'll be able to say amen to, with regard to your own, own mom. So I want to thank uh, Mac Nelson, I want to thank Will Dara, and I want to thank Reese Jones uh, for being willing to do this today. And so I encourage you to hear them, uh, hear what they have to say, and be blessed by them. Uh, I know that you will be blessed. So, so let's hear them. Hi, my name is Reese, and I'm just here to talk about my mom and all the great things she's done for me. Like, every single day I wake up, she's always there to support me, or just, like, when I was younger, always feed me and all that stuff, and teach me how to ride my bike, and teach me how to make my own food and all that stuff and teach me how to make my bed, and teach me all these incredible things. And that's why I'm just here to talk about her and say that I love her, and I wouldn't be here without her right now. Good day. Um, my name is Wilfred Dara, and as we uh, celebrate Mother's Day this weekend, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you. Um, First of all, I'd like to speak about how valuable women are in uh, our church and other organizations. They are truly the backbone of the life of a church and the organizations. They're the ones who are usually putting in long hours and not to take any value away from the men, but women truly are, as they have proven since the beginning of time, the glue that holds things together alongside with other women also who, whether it's helping out their nieces and nephews or other children or people they encounter, they it is through a mother's love that they help people and they care about people. Um, one of the experiences in my life was, like a lot of young people, um, I was brought up in the church and through uh, women Sunday school teachers, some, and some men also. I was taught the right and wrong way, and my mother and father had, you know, passed on to me those values, and uh, I went my own way when I reached a certain age. And it was, I want to share with you, it was the Lord used my mother, and it was her prayers who helped bring me back to the church and it was her love and uh, I just want to acknowledge that that in there's many mothers out there who pray for different things in their family and whether it's salvation for one of their loved ones or one of their children or for their children to get through certain life's difficulties because we all families encounter that at some point in time. It's, uh, I want to just say thank you to my mother for doing that because it was through her prayer and her encouragement that I, that made me seek to follow Jesus again. And uh, it's made a big difference in my life because at some point in our life, at some age, you'll realize that what the world seeks, whether it's fancy things or uh, uh, what the world determines is a good lifestyle and happiness is at the end will all fade away at the end of our life here on earth. And another th thing I'd like to share with you is um, like all families, uh, we have uh, encountered different hardships and sorrows and at different times, I would ask my mom, how do you um, 
carry on through that? And how do you cope with that? She always pointed to the Lord and said it was the Lord who gave that. She gave those uh, things, excuse me, those things too. And, and uh, she trusted in him. And it's a lesson for all of us that we need to do that, you know, because there's sorrow and there's things that'll happen in our life that we never planned on or we don't think is really fair. But we need to give it to him and we need to be reminded of that too because we can all look to ourselves at our different ambitions where we want to be or go or end up in life. But we need to look to Jesus. He is what will bring us true happiness and he, we should seek him. We need to seek him, each and every one of us. Um, so uh, I w would like to end this in, uh, I'm gonna read from Ma the book of Matthew and it's talking about treasures in heaven. And this is from verses 19 to 21. For it says in verse 19, do not store up your for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. And then in verse 21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Happy Mother's Day to all. Thank you. Good morning, friends at Grand Bay Baptist. I sure miss you. It's been a long haul, and I think we're in for another long haul. But we will overcome this. We will all be back together someday soon. I believe that wholeheartedly. I was asked if I could say a few things about my mother, being this is Mother's Day. And I want to take this opportunity to wish all the mothers in our, in our area a happy Mother's Day. And God bless each one of you. You're a very special group. My mother was a very gracious lady. She grew up in Waterloo Street Baptist Church, was very active in her church, and she was married at the Waterloo Street Baptist Church. And she was quite active. She she was she taught music. She tried to teach me how to play the piano. <laughs> She never succeeded. I wouldn't practice. But she did teach me how to sing. And she showed me how to read the notes. So I remember that. She's gone on to be with the Lord now. But I have another memory thing that was given to me years after my mother passed away. My sister had my mother's Bible. And in it she found a bookmark. And the bookmark I hold in my hand and it was to my mother, and I said, to mother with love, Mac. And I put that in, I gave her that back in April the 14th, 1944, for Mother's Day. And now that my sister found it in her Bible, after mother gave it to her, she gave it to me, and it's in my Bible now. And I think of her when I see it, I think of her because she's a very special lady. Up until the time that Betty came along, my mother was number one, but she, she gave way to Betty. Thank you. This is his mom, his sister Joyce, his brother Bill, and that is little Mackie.